Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I am a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. Mainly eBay though. So today I am hitting up one of my local thrift stores. Uh, there's a chain of three of them and I usually go to one in particular on half off day. You guys have been there with me before. So uh, that is where I'm headed this morning. I really don't need to thrift today, <laughs> but my mom really wanted to get out and go to a thrift store today. It's been a, a couple weeks for her, I think. So I'm going to pick her up and we are gonna go to Hellertown and check out Half Off Day. Alrighty, so let's see what they have here. Trying to stay away from mugs lately, though. I might pick these up because I actually have, I think, another stack of these so I can lot them together. Oh, you're a serious shopper, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> Cute little wooden bank. Shops are pretty bare. I found some stuff so far, but nothing I'm like super excited about. Let's see what we have over here. Gallery. These are false graph. I don't know. Sometimes I do okay with these ramekins though, and they're only going to be two fifty, so I might grab these. Flatware, not, not a good pattern though. It's kind of like just pretty generic. $34.99, that's crazy. No thank you. vintage set of salt and pepper shakers. 
think I might head over to uh, the um, perfume kind of section. All right, slide through the men's shoes real quick. Some interesting rollerblades. Those look like army issued boots. All right, let's see if we have anything good over this way. Here is this damn cup again. I swear to God, this has been here forever. Alrighty. Whoa. <laughs> this is cool. This is like weird. It looks like someone like decoupaged this. I don't even know who that is. But it's really neat. It's kind of dirty on the inside, but look, she's even on the inside. This is really cool. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how I would market this, but it's kind of cool. on these today. Ooh, $6.99. Yeah, definitely passing on that one. $2.99. This one has a lot of edge wear. Wallets are slow, slow moving for me. Alright, let's see what we have over here. So many people have really great, like, health and beauty sections. And they find all this great discontinued stuff. I don't know. I think our local stores don't really have a whole lot of discontinued products. I might look into this. Let me try to look a couple things up. I don't know. a little shower gel that's like a travel size and that is travel size I don't think they sell this stuff anymore I actually used to like the clear the clear shampoo thank you all right let's see what's in here jet set that says underneath there. Oh, Aesop. Hmm. Alright, I might look a couple things up real quick. Like someone's toothbrush and everything. All right, so this definitely doesn't look worth it. This set might sell for around fifteen. But, I mean, it's not going to be a huge profit after the price that's on there. So, going to be skipping that. On the hunt for some cross stitch. This one's open. Actually, there might be a couple little ones in here. I'll check those out. Okay, these are these are bizarre to me. These are a bunch of bunch of little heads. 
on picks. What the heck are those used for? They'll be 50 cents though, so I might get them just because they're sort of creepy and weird. Heads on sticks. Heads on sticks. Oh, look, we have more. We have more heads on sticks. I don't know, this is so weird. It's probably even weirder that I'm buying them. Oh, here we go. We have more heads on sticks. Alright, this does look like a lot. Oh, I don't know. They might have some damage, and these aren't really worth that much. The little tiny ones. Maybe I'll pass on those and see if we can find anything else in the bag. Yeah. Lizzie Kate. So this is just a pattern. But it'll be 50 cents. So I can probably sell that for 10. Unfortunately, oh, here we have more heads on sticks. Oh my gosh. More heads on sticks. Some rubber stamps. I have enough of those in my inventory. Stamping up the glue sticks. Some kind of a ribbon. Bingo game. Just a piece of wood. Alright, what do we have down here? These, I actually have recently sold some of these, but this little tiny one, and it's been open, and it's $2.99, so I think I'm going to pass. There's someone's Polaroid. Alright, let's see what's in here. Looks like some open cruel kits, maybe. Some random odds and ends. Again, a random, random things, some fabric, puppy wings, random craft pieces, apples, some more random craft pieces. This stuff I thought I put up there. It's a balance. Paragon. This is like a like a tablecloth to embroider. It looks like it's been started. Metal frame. It looks like it's been painted. For sure. Alrighty. Some beads. Pantyhose. Alrighty. I think I've seen enough of that section. Check out the bags. Here's a coat. Ooh. Really dirty.
Oh, that's White House Black Market. Kind of matches a pair of shoes I saw up, up front. They look like an outdated style. Patio heater cover. Oh, is this Pottery Barn? Oh, yes, it is. I am getting these. I just sold that Pottery Barn single pillowcase that I picked up. Sold it for $40. So I'm definitely, definitely picking up this set of embroidered napkins. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a good find. Let's see if we have any other pottery barn stuff hidden back here. You never know. It's a Target brand. Someone threw a shirt back here. Shelburne throw. There we go. Check this corner again. Alright, so I'm not seeing any. Alrighty. This looks like a Vera Bradley hard case it is. It's for probably like a tablet. I might actually grab that. It'll be 350. Although I think it might be missing. It is. It's missing the strap, so I'm not gonna grab it. It's one of those you could put the strap on it. I mean you could definitely use it without, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. All right, so let's unpack the bags and see what I bought this time. Of course, it's over a week later that I'm filming this haul. That's usually the way it is. I rarely ever film the haul portion on the same day. So anyhow, I did pick these up, these four false graph uh, ramekins. So we'll see how they do. They were 250. I grabbed, this was the first thing I picked up. This is Polish Pottery and it was $4.99, so it was half off, $2.50. And it's just, I thought it was a really nice pattern. It's a canister jar. This should bring about $40 or $50. And um, so I'm keeping an eye on Max. I'm making sure he doesn't open the little gate that comes down here because he's not allowed down here. And the other day, he kind of barreled through it <laughs> and got caught. But now I just got to keep an eye on him. I've been trying to put like a little like weight or something in front of it so he can't push it open. Anyhow, back to the haul. This right here, that's the pattern. This, like I said, was the first thing I picked up. And a man afterwards, he was like, I'm just wondering if you happen to see, and he described this, and I'm like, yep, I got it. It's already in my little cart, and it was at the bottom, and it was covered with stuff, so he couldn't see it, but I was like, yeah, I did get it. So I was like, were you here the night before checking everything out? And he said, yes, I was. I saw that. I, I was coming back for it, but I beat him to it. So anyhow, then... I picked this up. This is a Swell water bottle sip by Swell. I do well if I lot these together. And I actually have two others that I picked up. Did I show you guys? I, don't, I might have. I don't, I don't even think I did a haul for that. I picked some up at a Goodwill in um, Ephrata. So now I have three of them. Those are actually dog themed, so I'll probably list those separately. Maybe I'll just list this one separately, but it's it's pineapple. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm not a big fan of drinking out of metal water bottles, or I might use this because it's kind of neat, but I'm not I'm not using it. All right. So I picked these heels up. I don't know. They're Ellie, I guess the brand is, but they are clear, so they're like see-through. I, I only paid $2.50 for them, so I don't know. I just thought that they might do okay. 
these I picked up, I saw these in the, um, like the case when I was checking out, when I was paying. And this is the first time I've ever picked up earrings from this brand. So these are Liz Tech, which is a local, uh, like kind of an artisan jewelry type brand. Um, the lady was from East Stroudsburg. That's where she did all of her her pins and whatnot. Liz Tech is definitely known for their pins. They all have this mirror kind of background. I'll show those to you. And I've never seen the earrings before. They don't show up very good on camera, it seems. But I've never found the earrings. I've only ever found um, the pins. So these I paid up for a little bit. I paid $14. 50, but I think I should be able to get about $50 for these. So that was kind of a cool last minute find. Let's see what other random stuff I picked up. So I got a can of spray paint. <laughs> Rust Oleum Hammered Finish Spray Paint. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm probably gonna give it to my mom. It's in a copper color, but spray paint can be expensive. And it ended up being 293, I think it says on there. I don't know what it says on there. It's two something. So it was like a dollar something. So I figured not that bad. Maybe I'll find something at, you know, a yard sale or something like that that I wanna spray paint and I'll have the spray paint. Okay, someone is being very loud with their motor vehicle outside. Do you guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but. Okay, so I picked up this Feltworks by Dimensions. It's just kind of like a, I don't know, I don't some kind of needlepoint kit. That ended up being, oh, it was 45 cents. So half of that, what, 22.5 cents? And then I did grab these Pottery Barn napkins. I have not looked up this pattern yet. They are embroidered, they're brown. I think they'll do well. This I picked up to lot with another set I have, uh, Creative Memories. So those were $2. These were $8.99, so $4.50. If I didn't say that. I would give you guys a grand total, but this was like over a week ago, so. I don't even know what I did with the receipt at this point. I mean, it's like somewhere, it's probably, I have like this big bag. I just throw receipts in for like taxes or whatever. Anyhow, this, help me out here guys. What is this thing? It's kind of like rug-like, but it's smaller as you can see. Um, it's got like this fringe going on. It was $1.50, so I'm like, I have to grab this. It really is the thickness of a carpet. The back has that carpet kind of look. That's the front. But what would you use this for? What is this thing? If you guys have any idea, let me know. I just thought it was kind of unique, so I grabbed it. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. Then I grabbed these chair pads, hand hooked for park designs. And I think that these will do okay. Uh, lotted together, I did get, they were $1.50 a piece. So I got these two that are the same and then these. So it's kind of like a cottage chic or something like that kind of look, folk folkish. I don't know, you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? So I figure, so I have like $3 into each set and I figure I should be able to get like $25, $30 for each pair. So we'll see about that. Never picked up chair pads before, but why not? So now we'll move back into some shoes here. I. I don't know, I picked up a few pair. I didn't get like a crazy amount this day that I went. 
All right, so I got these. These are just um, GH Bass & Co, but I picked them up. I don't normally pick this brand up, but I did pick these up. My hair was bothering me. Uh, I picked these up because they're just like really colorful and funky. And I like that. So they're kind of like, I don't know, just a pair of flats. They're pretty cool. I don't think they've ever been worn. Uh, and they are a size 8 medium. Madrid is the style of those. Then I got a pair of Franco Sardo peep toe kind of heels and then another Franco Sardo pair of wedge sandals and these were that pair these were 450 after the discount these were 350 after the discount what were these oh these were 452 after the discount and then I got a pair of Bionic sneakers. They're like a black suede and they ended up being $2.50. And they look like they've only been gently used. They're in like really, really good condition. I'll show you guys. So yeah, they're in good condition and they are a size eight. So I think those should do pretty well. Let's see what else did I buy? It's like shopping all over again because uh, it's been a couple days. Is everything in here? I don't know. Okay, so I grabbed this Tommy Hilfiger vest. Just thought it was kind of cool. Ended up being 350. It's got a little like flag logo there patch on the, the back on the bottom. So this is, this is a size large. So it appears to be a women's large. Then I picked this up. This is loft size medium. It's just an open front, kind of like sweater jacket type thing. I don't know, I am gonna try this on. I might keep this for myself. I'm gonna see what happens with that, but I like wearing those kind of things on like chilly days. I picked this up, this is this was 350. And I looked up comps in the store, but I can't remember now. But I think it so should sell. Oh no, this is this is not the one I'm thinking of. This is Cacique. So this is um this is a Lane Bryant brand of bra, but it is a 46 triple D. So the bigger the bra, usually the more money you can get. And this is in really good condition. It's got like a hound's tooth pattern, some lace and everything. I don't even know. It might be backwards. I don't know what I'm doing with that thing, but I'm going to sell it. This is the one. This right here, I paid, how much did I pay for this one? Oh, I paid $5 for this one. But it is a nursing bra of some sort. It's called Cake Lingerie. And it's new with tags. And this is the one I looked up comps. And they look pretty decent for a new bra, but I cannot remember exactly what those comps were right now. All right, then I picked this up. This ended up being 250. It's LuLaRoe, the, let's see, I believe this is the Sarah, Sarah cardigan. It's a size XL, green striped. And for 250, I definitely picked these up because I sell these. I can probably get about $20 for this. Alrighty, then I picked up this pair of J. Crew favorite fit. They're kind of like, you know, dress pants, career pants, or size zero petite. So that's kind of a tough size, but they were 250 and I picked them up because they have, the fabric was made in Italy. So, you know, I figured, and these are not factory. These are like actually J. Crew. So I feel like these should bring 
a decent amount. And since I only paid two fifty, not too bad. Oh, I did this here. I picked this up, Lizzie Kate. This is just a pattern, fifty cents. And then my strange buy of the day. All of these heads on sticks. Enlighten me, guys. What in the heck are these used for? Because all I can picture is like a creepy Halloween display with like all these heads poked out of things. So I don't know, but they ended up being 50 cents a bag. And I got five bags of these heads on sticks. Although I think one of them said heads on picks, doll head on pick. I, I prefer to call them heads on sticks. So <laughs> what are these used for? I mean, they're on a stick. So could they be like attached to a doll like body? Can, like, I have no idea, but I just thought they were weird and they were cheap. So I bought them. And it looks like there's quite a few in each pack. A dozen, a dozen of those, a dozen of these. So, I don't know, there might be in the smaller ones too. Maybe their heads are just smaller, the brunettes. Their heads might be smaller. I don't know, maybe two are black hair, one's brown. And then the, so anyway, tons of these. So I have $2.50 into these. And I think if I lot these all together, I should be able to get maybe like $30, $35. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I really wish I knew what they were supposed to be for because I'm just kind of interested in it. <laughs> Like, I can't, I can't figure it out. <laughs> it's so bizarre to me. So I'm just going to stick with a uh, creepy Halloween type thing, you know? So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap up the haul this time. I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. Hope you enjoyed the haul. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.